Hi, we want to select an image to transfer it into a vector graphic so we can create a, um, a laser cut profile. So select a large resolution, as big as you can, and you might want to go then to the snipping tool, which you can find in Microsoft Windows, and select the area that you want, just by bringing in the dialog box, starting it, clicking a new snip, and then dragging across the screen till you get the image that you want, the size. Okay, um, so having done that, save it, and it'll save as a portable network graphics file, if you do that. And uh, make sure you know where it is, because you're going to find it in a minute when you open up Adobe Illustrator. Alright, Adobe Illustrator, let's open it. It may take a little while to load, so be prepared to wait a little bit. You're then going to create a new file, so give it a name. And then on the settings on the right, we're going to change the artboard. The artboard size is what you see. 600 by 400 is good. Try and make sure that it's, um, it's orientated with RGB color and has a high resolution. Okay, that's what it looks like. Put on some rulers. And then um, you can move the screen backwards and forwards if you need to by grabbing the tab down the bottom. But Control Zero will bring it all into focus for you. All right, you're now going to place an image, so the file place, and then navigate to your image, where you saved it just before. So once you've done that, there you go, place, select your image, and then accept that information, drop your image by left clicking, and then you're going to go to your properties and change the size of the image. It's only about 70 millimeters. I'm going to make mine 300 by 300 for a tabletop. But when you do that, you'll notice it's a bit distorted. So you might need to just push it and pull it till it gets the same sort of ratio that you need. And then crop it. When you're cropping, you just drag across and look across there and you'll see when you get your numbers about square, because I want a square image, then you know they're square. You apply the crop and then you select that image that you want, the size that you want. Next up now will be to be in mind that this image is a raster image, it's pixelated, it's got pixels. We want to change this into a vector graphic, which you'll see has lines, that's what the laser needs. So to do that, we're going to use the image trace function, select grayscale, and then make some adjustments on your grayscale. Now you can play with these and fine tune them to get exactly the sorts of detail that you want, but I suggest that you push up all of your profiles and your corners and keep the noise level down and you'll find that will work reasonably well for you. The exact um, balance of those you can play and see. Move them up and down. But what you're looking for is the crispest possible sort of images where you can, the laser can cut and show contrast. Select your um, snap curves down the bottom there to join up all the rough little bits together. And once all that's done, your image should be pretty well close to being able to be laser cut. Okay, so going in close now, you can start to see how now all the images, uh, all the pictures and the parts of the picture are drawn with lines. No longer do you have the pixelated sense, and that's what the laser cut needs to be able to work. Okay, time to save your image, this new image that you've got. So save it as, and it'll be a .ai file, Adobe Illustrator file. Save it somewhere where you're going to find it and then we're going to print it. Now normally your um, computer will be connected up directly to the laser cutter. At this point in time it isn't, so um, we can't go all the way through, but we'll go to the print function, select the laser cutter as a printer, and we'll have a limited little quick look at what it looks like on the laser cutter interface. I've opened it up, that's what you see with the laser cutter. Only two things you need to do. The first one is to get some settings to tell it what sort of material it's going to be engraving with. So we're going to go natural material, we'll use um, wood and then a medium wood and choose general medium woods. Um, once we've done that we adjust the thickness to 19 millimeters. that's the thickness of the object that we're cutting, and then apply those settings, um, click OK for that, hit apply, and hit OK, and um, that image is now ready to be cut by the laser cutter. You've just got to position it on the exactly in the right spot and to do that you'll use the locating um, button 
and that'll take the laser cutter and show you where the different points are so that you can align it so that it fits perfectly. You scroll in and scroll out to be able to see whether the image is larger or smaller and you're done. Ready to go. Good luck.